Good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. So, nandito na ba ang lahat? Okay. So, before you take your seats, please uh, look around and pick some piece of paper. And kindly arrange also your chair so that you can sit properly later. <clears throat> so, may call, sir. Aliangan to lead a prayer. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. You may now be seated. So, good morning again. At class, I have some announcement that in this class, I have some rules to follow for us to be organized. <coughs> oh, I'd like you to know that I will not allow the use of mobile phone when the discussion start started na. Okay? So, meaning, pag mag-start na yung discussion, wala nang maggamit ng phone. You just put your mobile phones inside your pocket or inside your bag. Is it clear? Okay. So, about the uh, recitation, when you want to recite or you have something to share, you want to answer, please uh, raise your hand and do not talk if you are not called. So, just raise your hand. If, you're, if I notice that you are raising your hand, then I call your name so that your time that you will uh, say anything, your answer and your thoughts, okay? Understand? Alright. <clears throat> so, may I check first your attendance? Uh, I, I am aware that you are three groups in this class. We have drafting technology, the civil technology, and the automotive technology. So, Drafting technology, are you all present this morning? Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you for the complete attendance of the drafting technology. How about the civil technology? Okay, uh, you are also all present. And now, what about how about the automotive? All present also. Okay, thank you for the perfect attendance. So now, uh, are you aware that you are your subject is bed nine, and this subject uh, is curriculum development and evaluation with emphasis on team one and two. So you know, guys, this uh, subject is very important when you proceed to get the team one certificate. So after taking the subject, uh, by uh, need you need some practice uh, for you to be able to perfect the uh, said requirements for the TAM certificate. So if you pass the TAM uh, training methodology certificate, so that is the big factor for you, a uh, big plus for your qualification after the graduation when you're applying or seeking a job. So this is. Uh, an awareness for you that you have to take this subject seriously and if you want if you do this uh, you, you can uh, talk to mom Elaine for further uh, further information about that okay so now we before we proceed to other discussion I will I'm going to group you into three so para mabilis uh, you have to join your uh, classmate in your major subject so if you are Crafting, you must occupy on the left side of the room, and for the for the uh, civil technology, uh, occupy in the right side, and for the automotive technology, you must stay here in front uh, on the middle. Okay. So every group, I am asking your uh, representative send uh, every group one representative so they. I'm asking about three representative in all groups, no? Sa lahat na. Okay, please come forward. So I'm giving you the instructions once because this is very a very simple activity that everyone 
everyone can follow. So now I am holding this paper. So this paper represent as the learning materials or the training materials. So I am going to give this to the uh, leader or representative from your group and then your group will give this to the rest of the member. No? So you must observe the delivery of this uh, materials to your group. So now I'm going to start with the uh, drafting technology. So the leader must uh, will give this to his group by extending uh, by handing this materials directly to his group. So okay, you should sure will do it now. Okay, okay. Thank you for that. You may take your seat. So the, the civil technology, I am uh, uh, giving you this materials, a leader, and then you will uh, give this to your group, but not, you're not going to walk, going to your group, but you have to stay here and throw this paper to your uh, group member, okay? You have to throw it, throw this. Yes, thank you for doing that. And you may take your seat the last is the automotive technology okay you must bring this outside you go to uh, you go to outside the room and you will come in if i'm going to call your name nah? okay just go there okay okay uh, may i call on the representative of automotive to please come in and look for your group and deliver the materials uh, give the materials to your group okay very good you may now take your seat so now class so what do you have observed from our activity any idea okay uh, sir Sankadan is raising his hand so sir you may now uh, share your thoughts what you have observed from the activity Okay, very good. Uh, this is the as you have as you have said said that uh, there is the different ways of delivering the materials, learning materials to the uh, workmate or learners. No. So what about the one uh, other? Want to share your uh, no, thoughts? Okay, uh, Sir Dennis Castillo. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, you got the uh, right answer, no? So, it is the delivery also. Same as Sir Sankadan said. Okay, you know, guys, uh, if you observe the title of our topic was uh, already there in the activity, no? But it's, if it is uh, difficult for you to think you can guess but you know uh, our time is limited so i am going to tell you what is our topic today so our topic today is about the training delivery mode so what is the training delivery mode the delivery of the materials to the trainees in different ways so may i now uh, request miss salmin to read the training delivery modes definition okay thank you uh, will you please uh, share what you have understand about what you have read okay very good so it is training delivery modes is refers to the different methods on and or formats through which training delivered to the learners so how the training delivered to the learners paano paano yung training gina uh, delivered to the learners or trainees no the second line is th this mode can uh, vary depending on the context and the specific training program so it depends upon the training program if the training program requires this kind of delivery of the training materials or training uh, training skills 
okay uh, we need this this kind of uh, mode will be applied no so now we ha i have here the list from the modules the five training delivery modes so we have uh, number one please read miss lacaste santos okay please read the training delivery mode number one okay uh, share uh, kindly i uh, know uh, discuss share it what you have understand about what you have read okay so you're right no the dualized mode training delivery is preferred and recommended dualized no dalawa so meaning this program would compose both in school and in industry so these dualized methods of training delivery it can be seen in school or even in the industry no? so let's say for example in school when we are uh, on our laboratory to our specialized field like uh, drafting or automotive and civil tech after the discussion of our teacher uh, we are allowed to we will proceed to the actual no? after the discussion so that is the wall so in the field of industry when you are already in work working so you are given the task by your supervisor uh, you are there and you are learning by doing no kasi to so you have <coughs> uh, an idea about that but you don't sometimes you don't even know how to perform the task properly to in the right way no in a satama so hindi mo siya ma perform so we need to have this uh, uh, someone to uh, assist us and that is called the training a dual training mode of delivery no so the second is the modular self-paced learning so may i call uh, miss soles to read and explain okay ma'am thank you okay that's uh, right okay you have your idea so the modular self paced learning is a competence training modality where the trainee and is allowed to progress at his own pace no uh, so hinahayaan natin siya yung trainee through the module by giving him the instructions the training materials so hinahayaan natin siya na mag progress no? mag learn sa kanyang sarili no so if he can perform the task he can uh, that he or she the trainee can perform the task very well so she can uh, he or she can proceed to the next level of learning na so yan yung ibig sabihin dito sa modular self paced learning so meaning uh, sila lang yung nag uh, nag uh, initiate ng kanilang learning no? through reading the materials so we have here also the uh, third is which is the Okay, may I request who wants to volunteer from the class? Okay, uh, Ma'am Castro Mayor, Miss Castro Mayor, you want to volunteer? Okay, please read and explain. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, yes, you are right. And peer teaching is a uh, peer teaching monitoring is a training modality where fast learners are given the opportunity to assist the slow learner so ito makikita din na naman natin ito sa mga kaklase natin sometimes uh, there are we, we have our classmates that they can uh, easily fast easily understand so they are fast learner no so sometimes you ask we ask them uh, paano ba to so they will not uh, also uh, <coughs> di natin uh, hindi nila tayo ano no uh, binibigo binigyan din tayo kung ano yung natin kung paano so some are 
selfish naman siguro kung hindi sila magbigay. Okay. So, that is the meaning of this uh, delivery modes wherein the fast learners are given the opportunity to share their knowledge to the slow learner. So, number four, Miss Arbis, can they read and explain? Very good, no? So, <clears throat> supervised industry training or the job training. <coughs> so, this moda, this training delivery mode is can be seen through the industry. So, like for example, no? Uh, in our field of study, we are taking up the technical vocational courses, no? So, at the end of this year in our field in automotive so we are given the requirements to have an OJT so in this part so this training approach is designed to enhance the skills of the trainees no? Guys, kasi dito sa school we learn a lot of theories although we have our uh, actual but we do not uh, perform it every day, no? Hindi yun. Pag madaanan na natin, and that's it. Tapos na. So, while we are on the job training, uh, there is a tendency that the things that we do today will be repeated and repeated until yun, uh, mapamiliarize na natin because it depends on the customer or the the task that the shop is uh, giving to the trainees like the automotive student no? so we also have the last one number five so who can read this and explain anybody I want uh, I want volunteers okay yes sir Wahid okay sir Wahid please read and explain Yes, okay. Thank you. Okay, distance learning is a formal education. Tama naman, no? So, Sir Wahid, thank you for your thoughts, no? It's a formal education process in which majority of the instructions occurs when the student and instructor are not in the same place. So, distance learning because they are distance from each other, no? But still, the learnings are, is being implemented through the materials that uh, being delivered by the use of the technology like audio, uh, video, and computer technologies, right? So the best example for this is the online class that uh, we are doing every uh, week that we are scheduled to have an online class. Then, that's all for this morning so if you have some questions you can now ask your question uh, as long as it is related to our topic okay none so, so I'm going to give you an a quiz or since we don't have more time so I'm going to give you uh, an assignment that will serve as your quiz in this lesson uh, write an, a, reflection, a, a reflection about the training delivery modes so as a future educator uh, how do you apply this training delivery modes when you are already in the field so kindly write it in a one whole sheet of paper and pa pass it on the next meeting so that's all for now and thank you for your attendance for attending the class and hope to see you guys next meeting that's all and god bless